from the Bible says when Daniel prayed God just hold on God released the answers to his prayer but for 21 days the answers were not coming so he had to maintain his relationship with God he did not lose hope because the answers were not being released no and as you all know there are ranks in the spiritual realm the angel who was coming to bring the report to the prayers of Daniel was captured in the heaven lies and stopped to bring the answers to Daniel but Daniel still maintained the relationship can I say this he ain't just God because he can answer my prayer he is God because I can maintain my relationship with him even when he delays to answer or even when he does not answer the way I expect him to answer I feel like preaching this thing praise the name of God someone say he is still my God so for 21 days Daniel is in prayer there is somebody in this room even after you prayed for it it never showed up but you never lost your relationship with your maker your relationship is still intact hallelujah that's why when you walk in you don't need a programmer to lay you the program you can just walk in and do hallelujah hallelujah you can just walk in you can just walk in you can just walk in i want you to tap your neighbor tell your neighbor neighbor I have a relationship with him because I am not blind for the Bible says in whom the God of this world has blinded there is a God of this world who will always try to blind you the God of this world will try to use the situations around you trying to make you blind not to know where you are coming from and whom you belong to because I believe we all belong to God that's why we come to worship him that's why we pray him the truth is there are people here you don't have a gun in your house but you are so secure because you know who is watching over your life am I preaching now am I preaching now the same road that killed other people is the same road God made you to survive not because you are too smart but because God calls you the light so if I be the light you better be careful devil in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit yeah 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 that is where I am that is where I am uh, who in the image of God should shine unto them for we preach not ourselves now this is what I want to say to you Paul says we preach not ourselves but we preach of Jesus Christ who died and rose again from the dead but we have the treasure I don't need to keep you here for so long I know it's already coming someone say this person you are looking unto tell your neighbor this is just body they tell them the inu dongo to tell them in my top to but the real person is in the inside Somebody say in this earthen treasure, in this earthen, earthen vessel, there is a treasure inside that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. We are troubled on every side. I'm coming now. We are troubled. The enemy knows there is nothing he can do you. That's why he brings fear around you. Praise the name of God. And even in that fear, God says, I've not given you the spirit of fear. And he says, resist the devil. And he shall flee.
me away. Can I say this? What some of you are feeling in this place, you are just walking through the lies of the devil. There is nothing wrong with your life. It's just the fakeness of the devil. For the devil is fickle in all ways. But through the systems and the maxims of this world, God is making sure he brings you out as the light. Ah, feel this thing now. He says, yet not distressed. He says, we are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. I feel like preaching right now. Also bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus. That the life also of Jesus might, might be made manifested in our lives. Give your neighbor high five and tell your neighbor, neighbor, it's a scam. <laughs> Tell them it's a scam. <laughs> Tell them it's a scam. God got you in his hands. I say it's a scam. God got you in his hands. And if God got you in his hands, there is nothing the enemy can do. I'm being reminded of the story of Joseph. He had a dream. The Bible does not say that Joseph was a bad guy. Nah. But the Bible says that he had favor out of the court of many colors that made him to be buried. Someone say there is nothing wrong of going through the pit. So from the pit he sold like a slave. He is now in the prison. He in the the dreams of two guys and he hopes when they get out they are going to remember him tell your neighbor nobody is going to remember you but in that earthen vessel there is a treasure 